going back in. Hi crew. So today we are enjoying a wonderful sunny autumn day. So I don't know about you but my favourite time of year is definitely autumn when it's dry. Pretty miserable when it's wet but hey. So with the onset of autumnal weather is the um, Excuse me. So with the onset of autumn, our food intake tends to sway from salads um, back to stews and um, soups. And one of our very favorite, easiest to prepare soups is um, a potato and sweet corn soup. So I'm going to do that for Shell's tea tonight. So, going to need one clove of garlic, five medium sized onions, and then you're going to need probably about that that many potatoes so you're looking at mm, just a bit more than the onions <coughs> first thing chop your onions fine thankfully I'm on my last onion otherwise you might see me cry I'm filling up now. It's next, clove of garlic. So just take the bottom off. I just know this is going to be one of those things. A lot of you guys are going to go, oh, you should do it like this. So any garlic prep tips, bang them in the comments. So I find the most important thing when you're um, cooking is that you get the hoover out. So this is our hoover. This is a 2004 model. Now this is K Greedy Bugger. Now we're going to use some rapeseed oil in our big pan. So we've got the oil on. We're now going to let that heat up. I'm going to put the onions in and the garlic a little bit after. So the thing, the key now is to get the onions so they're clear and almost on the cusp of caramelization. Because that will give you soup and that really nice sweetness. And don't worry about you know, chopping them all up. Do a few, chuck them in, start the um, process. So the potatoes and the onions are frying off a little bit. We're going to start adding some liquid into that very shortly. But let's just talk about spices first. So we're going to use salt, black pepper, turmeric, white pepper, and a few chili flakes. And probably three vegetable stock cubes. That should do us. So as the um, potatoes start to cook and the starches start to get released, um, it starts to stick on the bottom of the pan, so that's the time to put a bit of water in. Now as you can see, I haven't actually filled, I haven't gone over the ingredients with water. I've just put in sort of that much. Now we're going to add our seasoning and then we're going to add water bit by bit. 
I have actually made this and put far too much water in it and it wasn't very nice. <coughs> so the thing is, you can add water at the blitz stage, so don't worry about that, but don't add too much right now. So just keep a little bit, a little bit. So you should put some water in, you'll see that it'll start to cook the potatoes. It's looking good. So as you can see, I haven't actually added any more water to this, but as the um, ingredients start to cook down, start breaking down a little bit, it does come up, which is why it's really important not to put too much water in. So all the seasoning's in there now. Obviously the other advantage of the lid on, it's not too much condensation in the, uh, in the boat. So yeah, so that'll be probably, give that half an hour, give it a proper good, you know, cook. Um, and then we'll blitz her. So I'll um, go and do something more productive. I shall see you in half an hour. We have broken down potatoes and onion. Turn the harbour. Um, so now we just got to get this deliciousness. Into the blender. Without making any mess. This possibly could be the trickiest part of the process. Um, so that consistency is exactly how I like it. Um, so does Shell. You could probably add a little bit more water in, but I'm going to put the sweet corn in now. And obviously that's frozen, so that'll contain some water. So before you add any uh, other water to it, you probably two cups worth of sweet corn. Awesome. So that's the end of, so last thing to do is obviously eat your soup. Now I've got some help. We were hoping for a soup dance but <laughs> I think somebody's too hungry. So we will see you next week. Um, we're hopefully going to be doing a little review of our biodegradable and eco-friendly products that we use so stick around for that and have a good week do you like to say anything Shell? take care and have a lovely week yeah. Yeah. we had a good sleep oh, what do you think of the soup? Delicious. It's a nice um, winter warmer. Awesome. Feels like winter. It's blooming hot. It's one of our favourites, haven't it? Yeah.